How would you describe the types of mice in this picture? Did you say two types? Solid black and spotted black? These descriptions describe the phenotypes, the outward appearance or the expression of genes. The genotype determines the phenotype. The genotype describes the types of genes that affect a particular characteristic or trait. In this case, coat pattern is caused or determined by the presence of a dominant allele, S, and each mouse has two alleles of the coat pattern gene. In a pair of alleles, one comes from each parent. The solid color mice must each have at least one dominant allele, a big letter S. Their genotype must be big S, little s, or two big S's. The spotted mice must have the genotype little s, little s, because little s is recessive. Their genotype is definitely two little s's. When both alleles in the genotype are the same, this is homozygous. When both alleles are different, this is heterozygous. A solid colored mouse could be either homozygous or heterozygous, whereas a spotted mouse is definitely homozygous. Homozygous for the recessive allele, which can only express itself in the phenotype when it is in the homozygous state. What do you think the parents of these mice look like? What are their phenotypes? What are the genotypes of the parents? Recall that genotypes are made up of pairs of alleles. When mice mate, only one allele from each parent is passed to the offspring. You can have a little s combining with a big S. The phenotype of the offspring would be solid because of the presence of the dominant allele in the genotype. Another way to get a solid color is if the genotype is homozygous and the spotted appearance can only result from a combination of two recessive alleles. Each parent must have at least one recessive allele, for this is the only way to account for the presence of spotted offspring. And at least one parent must have a dominant allele. This accounts for the presence of the solid coat color. We are certain that each parent carries a recessive allele, and at least one parent must be heterozygous, with the allele on the other parent being either little s or big s, dominant or recessive. Let's assume that the allele represented by the question mark is recessive. If this were the case, then the gametes, or the sex cells, that can come from this parent would be either big S or little s. These gametes are represented here at the top of these boxes in the Punnett square. And the alleles that can come from the other parent would be placed here in these two boxes. The combinations would be
This Punnett square, or genetic diagram, shows that there is a fifty percent chance of getting solid colors in the offspring with each of these combinations with the dominant allele giving rise to the solid phenotype and 50% chance of spotted offspring. The actual offspring produced from the cross shows three spotted out of seven and four solid out of seven. Because the Punnett square just gives a theoretical prediction, then it is very likely that this Punnett square could actually represent the genotypes and phenotypes of the parents. Let's reveal the actual parents. Draw a Punnett square and try to explain this.